Paul Camp and Jennifer Clanky come up to the podium and they are going to share their essays that they wrote. Great class project. Point first will be Michaela Fulton Camp. Patriotism still matter. Your question is, does patriotism still matter? My question is, why shouldn't it? Like one great man once said, patriotism is not short, frenzied outbursts of emotion but the tranquil and steady dedication of a lifetime. Said by Adlai Stevenson. The love for or devotion to one's country. This is the definition of patriotism. If everyone doesn't already, they should love our country. To this very day, we have a number of songs we sing to honor our country, including the Star Spangled Banner and Let Freedom Ring. We also say the Pledge of Allegiance at different events. If this isn't showing we love our country, I don't know what is. Long, long ago, we fought for the freedom we have today, and you can't tell me all the people who helped fight for the freedom weren't devoted for their country. They spent hours and hours working and risking their lives for the freedom we have today. Even today, we have hundreds of men willing to fight for us and protect our country. They are willing to die to keep our country safe. One person once said, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country, said by Nathan Hale. We have Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, 9-11, and Veterans Day. If you think that patriotism doesn't matter anymore, then why do we still celebrate these days throughout the year? All five of these days are set aside throughout the year to honor our country and show how much we love it. In case you forgot, the love for our country is part of the de definition of patriotism. Now stop and think for a little while. Are you still wondering if patriotism still matters? If you are, you should have an automatic answer. Yes, patriotism still matters, and it always will matter, as long as we have people who are devoted to our country and love our country. Thank you, ladies, and thank you, Mrs. Heinevers, for sharing the talents of the choir with us. I think they did a, a very good job. Um, we're all probably better off by having them sing versus me sing up here, so I think that uh, one more round of applause for our show choir. I'd like to thank all the veterans who are here today on behalf of our school, our community, and our state, and our country. We thank you for your countless sacrifices. I would also like to take a brief minute to thank family members here of our veterans. As a, as a new dad, I have a six-month-old baby girl and a two-year-old baby boy, and it's funny how life changes you. Five years ago, I never really thought about the sacrifices that my grandmother and grandfather made back in, during World War II in the manner that I think about it today. My grandfather uh, and grandmother had a baby boy in the spring of 1938, and then in 1941, shortly after he enlisted into the United States Navy after Pearl Harbor, my grandmother found out that she was pregnant, and my grandfather never met his baby daughter uh, until the spring of 1946. And I think about the moments that I share with my two young children, and I think about the sacrifices that he made overseas and the sacrifices that my grandmother made raising two children uh, basically on her own. And I think about those sacrifices every day as I look into the eyes of my kids. And I, and I just want to thank you, especially the veterans and especially those helped surround them and comfort them and send prayers to them in their time of need. And I really think that we need to thank of all of the veterans as well as all the spouses today. So thank you very much for that. At this time, we have about 600 students waiting in the hallway to greet everyone. Uh, and I'm going to ask that you exit to my left, uh, down this hallway here and out these double doors, and we are going to parade down Main Street hallway, and we are going to end up in 